Why, hello there, I'm Maris. This is Game Request, and this is Painting VR. This is a really, really cool painting experience. So this whole warehouse you can fill. There's me waving, saying hi to everybody. So as you can see, we have some tools and things like that. I'm just taking a look around, seeing where we're set up here, what we've got. I had all sorts of high aspirations coming into this. I was going to Bob Ross this stuff, and uh, I didn't. I'll just uh, say that right up front. I did not. Really, really cool stuff in this game, though. You're going to see that I'm actually going to... Uh, obviously, it was colored already. Um... You're seeing I'm going to screw around with this a lot. Um, there's times I'm going to look at the screw or the canvas up close because if you look, like you can actually like see the rippling in the canvas. It's amazing up close. Graphics, the the graphics as far as the like painting and things like that, and the layering and how it looks, really really cool. Which, as you can see. You can also clean stuff up. Now, I do want to point out, I'm sure you saw when I turned around that there was like a Google browser and things like that. There's no music in this game. Um, one of the things they encourage you to do is go on the browser and you know, find like a YouTube video of something you like or things like that and listen to that music while you jam out and you uh, experiment and paint and all that stuff. I'm grabbing all sorts of stuff. <laughs> Look at how cool that is. I, I do wish they had some type of, like, you can pour, you can pour the paint on the palette from, like, the buckets and things like that and spray it on, um, but, like, I would, I, I guess maybe, like, make it so you can, uh, whatchamacallit, like ombre them like say you want to have a color and then you want to ombre it to black we'll be able to pour those colors onto your palette from say one of the buckets and things like that and then you know run your things through it i uh here's me doing some happy little trees i have to switch hands i'm not left-handed They do mix well, at least here. But like I just, you know, mean... Also, I uh, you'll see me try to splash later. And by splash, I mean, uh, like, shake the brush uh, onto the uh, canvas to get, like, a splatter effect. Um, I didn't see anything for that either, but that's fine. Again, this isn't... This also isn't a quote-unquote, like, you know, supposed to completely forego drawing in real life. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of things that you could do in real life that you can't do here. I'm playing with all sorts of colors. I had a lot of fun playing with this. And you can see it slowly fades away. Look at that. See, I'm pointing out the texture. Really, really incredible 
in person. So as you can see, we're going through the canvas settings right now. You can set you can set a giant canvas if you want. Here I'm trying to see if I can take, say, a picture from Google or something like that and create an outline or a template on the canvas just to, you know, just experiment. I'm trying to drag it off right now or, or something like that. <laughs> That little nice little paint mix are there. Also like the fact that the palette, all you had to do was click a button and it would stick to your hand. So you didn't have to like uh worry about like compl uh, constantly gripping your finger or gripping your hand to uh, hold on to it and things like that. Really cool detail on the brush as you can see you can t tell that it's the the uh, fibers on it you can see them clearly As you can see, you can work your color down. If you just pull, bring it down slowly, it pulls like a thick strand down of it, and you can mix that to what you want. The This kit felt very good, too. As far as like how it feels holding everything, how reactive it felt in the environment and things like that, like I didn't find really problems with collision with this. I felt comfortable with with how it uh how it was working oh we're getting to the spray paint i uh i would have liked to have seen some better options with the spray paints like if you spray it up close for a long period of time maybe have it start to run um i mean this is this is nitpicky stuff also one thing i thought would be cool would be if they could put out maybe a pack of say like basic shapes things like that that you could use to block off certain things so say you're going to use the spray can and you want to make a triangle or you have something painted that's a triangle and you want to do that you know be able to hold the triangle up on your canvas and spray and have it block it off i think that would be really cool So now, of course, I get the, and it's like, oh, well, I need to start tagging stuff because that's how we think around here. <laughs> Can't tag. So I'm like, let me go over here and tag stuff because we all know the first thing that goes through my hand. Look at this. This warehouse is huge, by the way. 
and the, one of the main points is actually to decorate this whole thing with your artwork make it like a whole skate park as you can see they have a bunch of stickers and everything over here but really like you can once you're done with your piece of art you can stick it wherever you want you can change the size of it things like that there's a lot of options for that where you want to uh and that cool just dip it in and change the color you can display your art anywhere you want I mean look how good that looks like it's definitely got the the slight like fade look at that on the edges and things like that I have to say again the quality of how each of these tools works within the environment is great Looks like they have uh, Posca pens. Like I said, I just wish like you could see it pour out onto the palette. That way you could blend it. You can see it's, you know, coming up under, under the, uh, the cans as well. And it's just sliding all over. Now I'm making a mess. Oh my God. Jesus Lord. But you can see like, you know, just again, a nitpicky thing. Now I'm pulling all sorts of stuff over. The grabbing and screwing things up is, is obviously my fault. I'm clicking the wrong buttons. They do show this being used, I believe, with the Vive controllers. I'm using the Index controllers with this, so it's, it's something's handled a little bit differently. The dribbling. Oh, I also, how cool would it be? Oop. Look at that up close real quick from where the pour, where it's been sprayed on. You can see the canvas. You can see the pen strokes. Again, really, really amazing up close. But uh, how cool would it be to do that um, type of uh, pouring art where you pour stuff in and it layers it and you like do it in a cup or something and then you pour it over? Here's me checking out a, uh, sorry about the noises, patches of scratching. It's me checking out a, uh, nice, nice thing. And then, of course, once you get good with this stuff, you don't have to walk over here. You could just, like, summon it. This took me a little time to get used to, this guy. I noticed if you... Obviously, this canvas does not exist, so you can kind of, like, push through it mm -hmm. in real life. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. It's coughing up a hairball. Um, so what happens is if you push it too close to the canvas or where the the canvas as it perceives it to be it does kind of flip it around and everything so you just do have to you know be mindful of uh oh this looks like Turok I was thinking to myself that this this right now just looks like an old school N64 like Turok terrain so I was going to try to make brown <laughs> and like paint something on it and I just I failed miserably this whole time
I was going to try to do a path or something like that, but again, look at that. You can see the brush strokes. Really, really nice. So you can see here is where I'm trying to take a brush and you can see it's like slapping and it, you can get a small amount of a small amount from the bristles onto the brush. Really, really cool effects with this though. But you can't again shake the brush and get that like splatter effect on it. Look at how good that looks. Like that would be how a roller would look after one pass. I mean, they definitely, you could definitely tell they had artists working on this. Just because of how everything looks and reacts and looks on the canvas and goes on and things like that. Now you can adjust this. You can have it go in, you know, less, less opaque things like that so here I am trying to shake that as well but really it's pretty pretty outstanding as far as you know being able to paint just come in and create if you want to do certain things and of course I need the neon yellow of course I do <laughs> I can pour it Oh, uh, look at how terrible that looks. So there you can see it's how it's like spinning and going crazy sometimes. Again, that's me pushing too far into the uh, canvas where it is. So it's kind of messing it up. So that's a, that's a error on my part. To let sloppy paint noises too. So that will... And here, as you can see, I'm trying to grab things. Again, once you get good with this picking up, picking up and things like that, you can just go all Sith Lord and do it. But I will see you on the next video. Like the video. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to donate, go to GamerQuest.tv slash donate, and I will see you on the next video.